Hey everyone, I'm back. Um, it is time for part two of the three part haul that the first video was the last one. If you didn't see that, I will try to link it down below for you. Um, and this time we're doing the stuff I got at Ulta. Um, I want to save all the Makeup Revolution stuff for last because there's a lot of really cool stuff in there. Um, there's not cool stuff in here because there is. But there is some Makeup Revolution in here. There's some Eco Tools. There's some Buxom. There's some It Cosmetics. There's some Models Own. There's MAC. There's NYX. There's Ulta Brand. You name it. Um, I have got... Where is the... Oh god, there's only one handle. This is going to be magical. This is the bin that I have to film today. And it is like chock full. So let's dive in. Um, if you like this kind of video, don't forget to thumbs up. And if you're new to the family, hi, welcome in. Um, stick around, comment, you know, if you just found me, subscribe. I promise I'm going to try to upload more regularly stuff. You know, yeah, it is what it is. Um, but I'm going to try to start uploading at least once a week. Um, that is my goal anyway. So Let's jump right in. I'm going to start off with this super cute little bitty mini full-on lip cream from Buxom. Like, how cute is that? It's just so tiny. Um, and it's in the color Rose Julep. It's just so little. Um, I'm not going to swatch everything. I can't. Like, this video is already going to be forever long. This will be, like, so much longer. But I do want to swatch this. So, that is the Rose Julep color. I get really close. I don't know. It seemed appropriate. Um, I do love the Buxom lip creams. They do feel really good and they, um, are plumping. So, which is always kind of nice. Um, but that is that. The next thing, and I'm not going in any particular order, I'm just reaching in, is the Makeup Revolution Flawless 3 Resurrection Palette. And the box looks like this. Gorgeous, hot pink, foiled. Um, and I usually toss the Makeup Revolution boxes on the rare occasion that I buy something that comes in a box. But this one I may keep because it's hot pink and gorgeous. And then this is what the front looks like. Rose gold. Super metallic and reflective. And usually their palettes are um, black or clear. So the fact that this one's rose gold is super exciting to me. And like with all of their 32 count palettes, it has a huge mirror. And then those are the colors inside. Um, absolutely beautiful, you know, you've got a lot of mattes and shimmers and you've got some browns and a kind of purpley color and champagne and gold and all these burgundy ones. So I am super excited for that. I have tried to get my hands on that for a while now. Um, and then we've got this random little, you know, card with three samples from MAC on it, Ruby Woo, Velvet Teddy, and Diva. Um, which I got when I picked up, um, that actually didn't come from Ulta. I'm sorry. That came from the matte counter when I got the Taraji P. Henson Viva Glam lipstick and lip glass for this year. But during their 21 Days of Beauty, which is when some of this came from and the fall haul is where the rest of it came from, um, I picked up the Velvet Teddy and Russian Red MAC lipsticks because they were $8.75 each instead of the $17.50 they normally are. And I love Velvet Teddy and I love Russian Red. Um, mine had gone kind of manky, so I got replacements. And this is the Velvet Teddy there. And it's just a beautiful brown, brownie pink nude. Perfect for every day going out, just whenever you want to wear it. And then Russian Red is just a classic red um, that looks like this. And it's just so gorgeous. And I love it so much. And I love the way MAC lipsticks smell. They smell like vanilla cupcakes or something. And I just, I love it. So, yeah. That was a little weird. Um, the next thing is the NYX Glitter Primer. And I need something to get. You know what? We're just going to mangle the box and my nails and everything else. Getting into it. Why not? But that is what the box looks like there. has the kind of holographic glitter tube on the front. And I've heard a lot of really good things about this. And really wanted to try it, but for whatever reason, just hadn't. And then it was on sale during the fall haul for like four bucks. So figured why not? And that is what the tube looks like. Just holographic. It says glitter primer. So we shall see. Then I got 
the Eco Tools Full Powder Brush, which looks like this, um, during the fall haul. All Eco Tools and Real Techniques face brushes were like $4.99, I think. So I stocked up. Oh my God, I can't get it out. There we go. Um, but it's just big old fluffy bamboo handle Eco Tools brush. So. And if you watch my last video, you know I love Eco Tools brushes. So then I seriously stocked up on Eco Tools sponges. Um, I haven't tried these, but I've heard so many good things about them. And I love sponges for applying my foundation. And I kind of hate how expensive, you know, beauty blenders are. So I'm excited to try these. They look really squishy. What's next? Okay, next is the Urban Decay Naked Heat. Um, and I've actually, if I'm honest with y'all, I've had this for a couple months, kept meaning to, actually since shortly after launch, kept meaning to film a first impression review of it. Didn't do it. Now, here we are and like everybody and their mother has filmed first impressions and reviews, but if you still want me to, I will. Just let me know in the comments below. But this is what the box looks like. And then it slides out and it looks like burnt match heads on the back. And you've got the burnt match sticks inside. And then the packaging itself looks like this, which I'm sure you've seen it everywhere, but still. Um, big mirror, brush, 12 colors. They're really, really pretty. Um, I love burgundy eyeshadows, so I am super excited to try that. Um, even though I've been sitting on it for forever and haven't tried it. I, I didn't try it for you guys. So let me know if you want me to try it out on camera. Um, next up, I have got two of the Stila Christmas sets that are already at Ulta. Let's take a break for just a second. Christmas. It's October 8th today. So we're still two months and 17 days from Christmas. Why are Christmas things out everywhere? I went in Target the other day and they have Welcome to the Booporium. And it's all the Halloween stuff. And the back wall is Christmas lights. Don't get me wrong. I love Christmas. But Halloween's not here yet. Let Halloween have its month. Okay? And then Thanksgiving. And then the fat man can have his month. Okay. I'm going to stop ranting now. But anyway, the first one I got is the Written in the Stars um, eye glitter set for the Stila Liquid Eye Glitters. Um, the Glitter and Glow Liquid Eyeshadows. And these are the three that come in. They're the little half sizes. And we've got um, Smoky Storm, which is a bronzy color. We have got Kitten Karma, which is their classic kitten shade that Stila is known for in glitter form. Kind of a pale rose gold. And then we have Diamond Dust. And Diamond Dust is just straight up like platinum silver eye glitter. Um, and I love eye glitters, so I can't wait. Cannot wait to try those. The other Christmas kit I got is the Big Shots Stay All Day Waterproof Liquid Eyeliner and Huge Extreme Lash Mascara. Um, and both of these sets were $25, but this one at least is an amazing deal because you get a full size of the Stila Huge Lash Mascara, which is one of my favorite mascaras, um, but it's $23. So even though it's one of my favorite mascaras, I've only ever had the like little travel size ones that will come in like Birch Box and that kind of thing because I couldn't bring myself to spend $23 on a mascara. Um, and then the Stay All Day Waterproof Liquid Eyeliner in Intense Black. And this is a full size as well. And this is such a good deal because it's $25 for the two of them. And normally the eyeliner is $22 and the mascara is $23. So you get $55 for the product for $25. Bucks. Um, I'm not mad at it. I'm not mad at it. So next thing in is so exciting. You guys aren't going to know what to do with yourselves. It's the Japanese brush cleaner. Okay, it's not that exciting, but this is the citrus scent. Um, it is the 16 ounce one. This stuff is amazing. Um, if you watched my last video, you know I recently worked a fashion show, so my brushes were having to be cleaned pretty quick, needed to be dry really fast. Um, and this is actually the cleanser that I use to clean my brushes in between models. And it worked so well, and the brushes dried so fast. Um, I was super, super impressed. So love this stuff had to buy more uh next up is the 
it brushes for Ulta, the Airbrush Complexion Perfection Brush. And I love the way it packs the brushes because you get the little flip top that you can put it back in for whenever you travel or just storing it to keep it from getting messed up. And it's just a flat angled um, face brush. But I do love this. I actually have a mini one of it that I got as a free gift a while back. And I got this during the 21 Days of Beauty. And it was like $12 or $14 instead of the normal like $28. So, but I'm really excited for that because it's awesome. Next, I have got... I am going to have to dig for a second because I don't want to show just one of these. I've got two of the Essence Satin Touch blushes, which are finally at Ulta. And this is the Satin Coral color, which is a beautiful, you know, orangey, corally shade, which might be, you know, maybe a little late in the year for that, but whatever. If I like it, I'll wear it. I don't care what time of year it is. And the other one is Satin Love, which is more of a, like, dusty rose color um, blush but they swatched really pretty i have heard good things about them so super excited to try those then i got this was actually free with it purchase here a while back but um it's the it discover it kit that has like a little mini confidence in a cream superhero uh, mascara brow power uh, bye bye under eyes cc cream and cleanser so it's a nice way to try things there thank you for that ulta then i've got Again, during the 21 Days of Beauty, I picked up actually two of these. It is the It Cosmetics Celebration Foundation. And I picked up light and medium. And medium is the one that I wear when I'm just a little bit darker complected, like right now. But here in a few weeks, I'll be a pale girl again because it's fall. Well, I'll be a pale girl again if weather ever hits fall levels. Because yes, it's raining and gray outside right now, but it's also 80 degrees in October. So yeah, but I bought light and I bought medium. Um, I figured while they were on sale, I may as well buy one of each since those are a powder I know I use and use a lot of. Next up, we have the Real Techniques Expert Concealer Brush, which looks like this. If you've ever used their Expert Face Brush, it's the same shape as their Expert Face, face Brush. It's just much, much smaller. So it's just rounded, flat um, concealer brush. So super excited for that because i've not been wearing concealer because i don't really like any of the brushes i've got for concealer um next up i got the this is everything loving whip balm by nyx and it is in a vanilla scent i believe i feel like it's in a vanilla scent i smelled it and it smelled vanilla so let's just open this up and see if i'm wrong there and it's just this cute little tin potted lip balm kind of a pink color Yep, definitely smells like vanilla, kind of like a vanilla cherry scent. Ooh! If you're around my age, you may remember, Bath & Body Works used to have lip balms, and they had a cherry almond lip balm. Kind of smells like that. But I'm really excited. The tester felt a lot like the um, Dior Creme de Rose lip balm, which I've never actually owned, but I have gotten samples of, and it's amazing. So... Yeah, super excited for that. Then I got the NYX Matte Bronzer during the fall haul as well. Because during the fall haul, like, all of the NYX stuff was 30% off. And that's actually when I got the um, glitter primer, too. But I've been looking for a new bronzer. And there's several in here and that will evidence that. And I thought this one might be a good one. Um, it came highly rated. So, ooh, that looks a little dark. We'll see. You can always share it out. But it just looks like that. And it's just a matte bronzer. So... We'll see. That will probably be in a first impressions video. What's next? Oh, whenever I picked up the Naked Heat palette, I also picked up one of the Vice Naked Heat liquid lipsticks. And this, or not liquid lipsticks, but just lipsticks. This is the color Heat, which is a metalized lipstick and won't come out of the box. There we go. And packaging looks like this, kind of a pumpkin orange metal tube. And this is the color here. I'm a gorgeous burgundy color oh, little bird outside um really excited to try that because that's the i love like dark red dark burgundy burnt orange color lipstick so i'm excited for that next up there are two butter bronzers by physicians formula um and i actually got both colors i got light bronze and or the light bronzer and the bronzer um heard amazing things about these really wanted to try them but couldn't bring myself to pay $13 for them. They were on sale for eight or nine, I think. 
and I had, you know, the 350 off and points and all that. So went that route. Oh, they smell like coconut. But this is the color bronzer there. And they actually, they're, they've got like the little mirrored compact that flips up and with the mirror, blah, obviously mirrored compact flips up. It's got a mirror in it. But instead of having a brush, it's got like this weird little spongy thing, which is interesting. So don't know if I'll ever use that, but it's fun to have. So there is the bronzer and then light bronzer is the other shade I got. And it didn't look like there was a whole lot of color difference between the two of them, but you never know once it's actually on the face. So that is the light bronzer color. And those will be definitely be tried out soon. Um, next up is the Makeup Revolution Vivid Baked Highlighter in Ghost Lights. So I'm really excited for this. I went in actually to get the um, EcoTools brush. And there was this huge display with Makeup Revolution's Halloween stuff on it. And that's something that I've never gotten my hands on. So I had to get it. But this is the Ghost Lights Highlighter. And whenever you open it up, it's kind of holographic and it has a skull. Like, how awesome is that? So super excited to try that. Because in case you couldn't tell, I really like skulls. So and it's Halloween. So yeah. Next, I have got the Essence Pure Nude Highlighter, which looks like this. And I've heard a lot of great things about it, so really excited to try that. Um, it's just this gorgeous, like, it doesn't look like much whenever you swatch it on your finger. Like, it kind of looks dusty whenever you swatch it on your finger. But then you put it on your hand, and I'm hoping this light will show it. But it's just this really pretty, like, champagne-y soft highlighter, so... I'm excited for that. And then we've got the Makeup Revolution Strobe Highlighter in Everglow Lights, which is their wider one. Um, and I hadn't been able to get my hands on this because like every time Ulta had them, like the last one was always broken or somebody had opened it and dug their fingers into it. So I was super excited to find this the other day. Um, that is what it looks like there. And Pretty soon I'm going to be doing a video on like new highlighters that I've gotten um, with swatches and things. So I'll swatch it then. Then I've got a pack of Ardell Wispies, the multi-packs. These were on sale for like eight bucks, I think, during the um, fall haul event. So I picked those up because again, if you watched my last video, you know I'm wanting to wear more lashes. So there we go. And there are lots of lashes in here. There are more to come. So. Next up, I have got another part of the Makeup Revolution Halloween collection and it is their ghost sculpt palette and it's got like a gray or black matte sculpting and a white highlighting palette um it says ghost and sculpt on it really excited for that um hopefully I'll be able to use this in the Halloween tutorials because I have a couple planned I just got to get off my butt and get them filmed and then there is the ghost powder which looks like this and it's in their standard pressed powder packaging like their face powders where it actually flips out and then the powder itself has a little ghost embossed in it so excited for that too she's got set white face creams then i've got the during the fall haul they put models own um palettes on sale for eight or nine i think nine dollars and they're usually between 18 and 20 which to me is a little high to be on the drugstore side but me but model zone is a uk brand and they are something that they're a brand that i've really wanted to try um, I did try their, like, their version of the Stila Magnificent Metals shadows. Didn't like that. But I swatched these two palettes and loved them. So I, I just had to get them while I could get them at a super sale to try. And the first one is the Supernatural palette, which is what the box looks like. And the palette itself looks like this. Holographic Supernatural written across it. White pearly packaging. Massive mirror inside. Cute little double-ended brush. And then those are the... I'm gonna drop that. Those are the shadows there. And they're super pretty and super metallic um, whenever I swatched them. So I'm excited to try those. And then the other one I got is called the Rockstar Palette, which the box looks like a leather jacket with zipper. It says has Rockstar on it in white. And again, the palette itself is white with Rockstar across it in holographics. And same layout on the inside with the big mirror and brush 
And then the colors on this are darker. You know, you've got like a dark blue and dark purple and green and black and bronze and some mattes and shimmers and metallics. So again, super excited. Like I said, these two swatched the best out of all of them whenever I swatched them. So I am definitely excited to try those. Then we've got more of the Makeup Revolution um, Christmas. Listen to me. Just went on a rant about Christmas. So I'm trying to call Halloween palettes Christmas. Um, we got the Give Them Darkness palette and the The Dead Are Alive palette. And both of these are eye palettes. And they are 16 color palettes with 10 shimmers and 6 mattes. And like most of their packaging, they're just black on the front. But then you open them up and they have the dual ended sponge tip applicator. Which again, don't throw these away. They're great for packing on glitter. But this is the Give Them Darkness palette with lots of blues and purples and greens and peach and white and dark brown yeah i'm excited i can't wait to try it and then the dead are alive palette is a more neutral toned palette that is going to give me fits getting into it i really don't want to rip this box but i'm fixing to have to rip this box to get open. come on come on why must you be so hard to get into there we go. I don't get along with, with palette boxes, if we're honest. But this is the Dead or Alive palette. Much more toned down, you know, a lot more browns. There's like one dark blue, one purple, um, two purples. One's more of a brown purple, and the other one's like a purple purple. But, yeah. I love the names, too. There's like Depart, and Afterlife, and Freak, and Grave, and Whale, and Immortal, so... Yeah, excited for those. Then we've got um, two Tony Moly moisturizers. Which I love these two moisturizers. Um, my skin's been really, really dry lately, and I picked up this one, the Avocado Rich Cream, um, and fell in love with it. So I went back and got another one because they were on clearance. And then for the daytime, I used the Aloe Soothing Lotion, which I don't like the packaging on this because the bottle's really hard. Just got this—it's a pain. But anyway. I love this stuff. Um, they're both so good and they've done so much for my skin as far as helping with how dry it was. We're getting down to the end. I've got a little miniature Laura Geller Diamond Dust highlighter that was a free gift. Then we've got some more lashes in here. We've got two sets by Tarte. Um, we have the Center of Attention Lash, which looks like this. And then the Girl Boss Lash. And then I picked up two sets of the Ardell Faux Meeks. The 812s, which are like this, just kind of long and flirty and fluttery. And then a thicker, more dramatic kind of cat eye shape, the 811s. Um, so really excited about those. Then we've got... I picked up four eyeliners from Essence. Um, Essence is all the time buying, going buy one, get one half off, which is part of the reason why I got four of these. I got two of their uh, Cole Kajal pencils. I got one in the color Teddy, which is like a metallic brown shade. Well, the tubes, the pencil itself is metallic. The, the actual liner is just a nice brown shade. And the other Cole... Kajal I got is the um, black one, which is the color black, just black. And same thing, just a black pencil. And then I picked up backups of my favorite, the Extreme Lasting Eye Pencil. These used to be called like the Waterproof Gel Pencil or something like that, so they just renamed them. Um, but I got Nighttime in the Jungle and Black Love. And Nighttime in the Jungle is again like a dark brown color. And then just black is the black love. But I'm hoping they haven't reformulated those because those are some of my favorite eyeliners. Um, they last really well and they're really inexpensive. So I'm hoping it was just a repackage. From the Ulta brand, I got the Lasting Color Lip Gloss Stain in the color Treason, which is a gorgeous red color. And I where is the end of this thing so I can open it? I'm going to fight with opening it later. But it is just a red lip stain and the applicator on it is teardrop shaped. Ah, there's the end. Ugh. 
the applicator looks like that. It's a very nice applicator. I love applicator shaped like that because they make it really easy to like get a nice clean edge. Then the last thing from, or excuse me, I've got four last things. I've got the Urban Decay Ultimate Pair in Firebird and Jilted, which is the lipstick Firebird and the lip liner in Jilted. And the Vice Lipstick in Firebird is one of my favorites. It's um a pinky purple, like, uh, I think it's a metalized. No, it's actually a cream. But it's super shimmery, and I just, I absolutely love it. And then the lip liner is in Jilted. And it's the same kind of color, but it matches Firebird perfect. So I'm really glad that Urban Decay came out with these little sets for Ulta. And the last thing is actually three things. But I, more last of the Makeup Revolution Halloween kits available at Ulta. Um, it's the Retro Lux Lip Kits. And there's two mattes and a gloss. And the first matte lip kit is called vampire night and it is a kind of blood red thing and these are sort of modeled after um the kylie jenner lip kits in that they come with the lip pencil and the matte lipstick and vampire night as you can guess is a like blood red color then there is kiss of death which i love the boxes on these because they are like fang mouths with blood dripping off of them. So that's pretty cool. But this one is actually a black liquid lipstick and black lip liner. So glad to have that because I love black lipstick, but I hate trying to find a black lip liner, which NYX actually does have one now. The last one is called Unicorn Dream and it's actually a gloss lip kit. And that's what the box looks like for it. And it is a, it comes with a purple, it comes with a purple metallic lip liner and then a holographic lavender colored lip gloss. But that is everything. We're empty now. So thank you for hanging out with me and I hope you liked it. If you did like it, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and leave comments down below if there's any of this that you would like to see a more in-depth video on and I will see you all next time. Bye.